Bound by time, you are in haste, rooted in eternity. You are governed by grace. Bound by time means <laughs> no matter who you are, what you are, what you're doing or what you're not doing, one thing that's happening to you is you're losing time. You're losing time means you're losing life. So if you look at this logically, as I stand here, <laughs> every breath I take, I'm getting closer to my grave. How to be joyful, <laughs> how to be peaceful, how to engage, involve and enjoy the process of life. Yes, logically that is true, but this is a basic reality of our existence, that we are mortal and we are bound by time as long as we are deeply identified with our physical nature, because everything that's physical is bound by time. You have a certain lifespan, the tree has a certain lifespan, the planet has a certain lifespan, the very universe and galaxies have certain lifespans. Everything that's physical is bound by time. Time is one thing which is moving on ruthlessly, without waiting for anybody. Do what you want, it's only going away. Whatever may be happening, not happening, one thing that's happening always is you're losing time, losing time. Losing time means losing life in many ways. But what is time is not a linear process. If you observe carefully your experience of time, if you look at the clock, you think you spent two hours here or ten hours here, but if you look at your experience, all your experience happened only in this moment, right now. So, if you disidentify or stay little away, create a little space between your physiological and psychological processes, you are absolutely in this moment and this moment is eternity. One who is rooted in this eternal moment is always governed by grace. <laughs>